This was a bit too predictable. Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a nice time. Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 25 review so let's go wolfing. At first we see Lawrence, Hollow, Elsa, and Evan return to the church in Terrio's village, using the underground exit to reach the hidden shrine. Hollow uncovers details about the tension between Terrio village and Enverge town, learning that Enverge's people want Terrio's villagers to burn a statue of Trio. If they refuse, Enverge's higher-ups will label Terrio as pagan. Meanwhile, Elsa expresses her desire to confront both groups. Lawrence and Hollow then head to the top floor of the church, where Evan shows Lawrence the chalice he retrieved for their plan. From above, they observe the tense exchange between the two groups. One of Enverge's people throws the trio statue to the ground, and Hollow explains the situation to the others. Elsa's determination to confront both sides is clear, and Lawrence, Hollow, and Evan understand her intent. No one likes it when others go against their beliefs and values, so they try to force others into submission, which is exactly what Enverge is trying to do with Terrio, and it was more so the case in old times, so all of this kinda makes sense. We see the group confront both Terrio's and Enverge's people, specifically Bishop Mendez from Enverge. Mendez claims his people have been suffering from a curse despite following the true religion, and he's upset that Terrio's villagers, who have worshipped a fabricated deity, haven't been affected. One of Mendez's men presents Elsa with a document, and Mendez expresses his desire to rebuild a holy church of true faith in Terrio. Elsa counters by saying she's met one of God's divine messengers and that God has shown her the true path. Mendez demands proof. Hollow and Evan go elsewhere while Elsa approaches Mendez, acknowledging that having Terrio's people worship Trio was a mistake but arguing that Trio was one of God's miracles. This part nicely portrays how people easily could accuse and destroy others just by relying on religion back in the days, which is funny and sad at the same time, because people used to be so blinded by faith that they were afraid to question things. Next we see Mendez and the others turn their attention to Evan, who is standing on a pile of flower bags. To everyone's shock, wheat begins to grow from the flower bags, and the same happens with other carts of flour. The crowd bows before Evan, but the wheat quickly disappears. Elsa confronts Mendez, asking him to confirm that this isn't the work of the devil. She presents the chalice, which Lawrence had suggested for their plan, and urges Mendez to bless it, explaining why it's necessary. Mendez blesses the chalice, and Elsa asks him to have it brought to Evan. One of Mendez's men hands Evan the chalice, and Evan proceeds to stab the wheat bags and gather the flour from each cart in Terrio. As this happens, Elsa declares that this is a true miracle from God and challenges Mendez to present a miracle of his own if he disagrees. Mendez concedes, acknowledging it as a true miracle and declaring Terrio's church legitimate. I didn't really mention it in the last video, but I expected Hollow to grow wheat to create a miracle so it's kinda of funny that she actually did it, but it wasn't the thrilling moment that I was expecting for the season finale of such a good show. Moving on we see Hollow and Lawrence watch the situation unfold, and Hollow reminds Lawrence that he still needs to resolve the financial issues between Terrio and Enverge. Lawrence then confronts Riendot, telling him they need to settle the town's money problems. They go to Terrio's main circle, where Lawrence suggests Riendot keep all the wheat, but Riendot refuses. Lawrence asks how much money Riendot would want for the wheat, but seeing Riendot's hesitation, Lawrence offers a proposal, he wants Riendot to persuade Mendez to let Terrio's people sell the wheat under Mendez's name. Riendot agrees to try. Lawrence then proposes an alliance, as he fears Enverch's people might interfere with his business, and promises they'll return the money once business improves. Lawrence also says he wants to dissolve Father Franz's contract, though Terrio's people object. He warns them that Enverch will continue to resent them if they don't comply, and shares other points to convince them. Finally, Lawrence asks the baker to prepare specific goods. I think Lawrence played it very smart by dismissing the contract, because Enverch's real issue with Terrio was the contract as they were losing big time financially, so with it gone now, Enverch won't have too much of a problem with Terrio. Then we see Lawrence, Hollow, Elsa, 
and Evan are eating biscuits together, and Elsa mentions that the biscuits are selling well in Enverge. She believes they'll be able to pay back Enverge and make a profit. Lawrence explains why he chose this approach and confirms that they made a profit-sharing agreement with Riannot and Mendez. Hollow adds that they checked most of the flower bags and found no poison. Lawrence suggests he and Hollow leave, but before they do, Evan tells Lawrence that Terrio's people have entrusted him with handling future negotiations with Enverge. Elsa adds that many people are now visiting the church, and she plans to continue her duties there. As the four head outside, Lawrence asks Elsa about a question she once asked him. Elsa responds, speculating that Franz wanted to confirm the existence of pagan gods to help him understand if God exists, which is why she didn't want Enverge to deny Trio's existence. Sam, Lima, and other Terrio residents approach and thank Lawrence and his friends for their help. Lawrence and Hollow then depart from Terrio. It's honestly kinda crazy how Lawrence and Hollow saved the people who almost threw them under the bus. I don't think I would ever save anyone like that, but I guess I'm not really a good person to begin with. At the end we see Lawrence and Hollow discuss their current food supply and reflect on their recent activities in Terrio. Lawrence informs Hollow that their next destination is Lino's town. Hollow playfully teases him, and Lawrence counters by mentioning a future business deal. Curious, Hollow asks about the business while lying next to him and smiling. The scene then shifts to a future timeline where Hollow is talking with a child who has appeared throughout the anime. The child asks for more of Hollow's story, but Hollow refuses, explaining her reasons. A man, presumably Lawrence, arrives, and the child runs to him, saying Hollow can continue her tale later. Hollow remarks that her story is far from over. Well, this definitely looks like Lawrence and Hollow's child, which means they decided to tie the knot at the end of their journey, but Hollow's words pretty much implied that it wasn't easy for them to settle down. Nevertheless, it was a pretty nice season finale, and the story has been so good that I'm craving for more. Thankfully season 2 already got announced, so the wait won't be very long. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.